I got a question for you. Check this out. I got a Bunsen burner here, and then there's a flame that's heating up this beaker of water that's above it. Is this an exothermic process or an endothermic process? Think about this. When we're talking about these two things, we always want to figure out the direction that heat is moving. So I'll use these red arrows to show the direction that heat is moving in this case. It shouldn't come as a surprise to you that heat is moving away from this flame because the flame is putting out heat. So you might look at this and say, okay, this is a great example of an exothermic reaction because the heat is moving from the flame to the surroundings. And that's what happens in an exothermic process is heat moves out from something. But then on the other hand, you could look at this beaker of water that's getting warmed up and you could say, wait, 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 this is actually an endothermic process because heat is moving in to the beaker of water from the surroundings and an endothermic process, heat moves into something. So what is this here? Is this endothermic or is this exothermic? Well, actually, it can be both. And it depends on our point of view. It depends what we're focusing on. It depends whether we're focusing on the beaker of water or whether we're focusing on the flame. A fancy word for what we're choosing to focus on is the system. The system can be this, the system can be the flame, and everything else is the surroundings. Okay? So, let's say that we want to focus on the flame. In that case, everything else here is the surroundings, and this is an exothermic process because heat is moving from the system, the flame, into the surroundings. But on the other hand, we could choose to focus on the water. And in that case, this is an endothermic process because everything else is the surroundings and the heat is moving into the system, into the water, from the surroundings. So the lesson here is that any process can be seen as an endothermic process or an exothermic process depending on your point of view. This is an exothermic process when you focus on the flame as your system, but it's an endothermic process when you focus on the water that's getting warmed up when the water is a system. Okay? So, if a question like this shows up on a test or something, call your teacher on it. Don't be tricked by it. Say, I can't answer this unless I know what the system is. If the system is a flame, it's exothermic. If the system is the water, it's endothermic. But don't be tricked by that. Don't fall for it.